Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Alexia and today I'm going to be doing the books I want to read on vacation so I'm going to Cuba for a week, next week and it's really exciting hey. So before we get into this video make sure to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and let's get right into it It is really rare that I'm that like put together in my videos or in life like basically in life because I straightened my hair today which never happens I think it's the first time I have done that in like a year you never see it really like full length but my hair is pretty pre pretty long so here are the books I want to read on vacation I'm not gonna bring any uh, physically, I'm only gonna bring my Kindle because I think a Kindle is like a lifesaver. I plan my videos now and I'm so excited about it. So I have a list that I'm gonna follow. So here we go. Okay, I don't really, really wanna fight anymore. The book is Love, Life, and the List by Casey West. And I don't know anything about these books. It's just that they've been on my like radar for a while. I've been wanting to read them on vacation in the south in Cuba what I'm gonna do. So Love Life in the List by Casey West and P.S. I Like You by her too. So I've only, well I've read all of her other books I'm pretty sure so I've read, so I've read like The Fill-In Boyfriend, I've read On the Fence and the other one. I've read a couple of them. I do enjoy them overall. I think they're like 3.5, 4 out of 5 stars reads which are pretty good. So yeah, I'm really excited to read her books. They're really fast paced and for me Casey West is a vacation author like I read her books on vacation when I was in Kelowna in British Columbia and it was amazing so also I wanted to read the one in the library I don't really, really want to no more. the next one is a book that I do have and it's Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch and I've heard a lot of people talking about it I've had it on my shelves for a long time now it's about a girl who goes to Italy and she has like her mother's diary and she goes to all the places her mother's been. Havana. The next one is actually what I need to get on my Kindle because I just looked at my shelves and it was on there and I want to read it. So it is Wanderlust by Jen Malone and I've heard like travel books and backpacking trips and all like that, those type of books are kind of like hit or miss and it's really hard finding a good one and I heard this one is pretty good I don't know what but it's about her summer job is leading a group of senior citizens on a bus tour through Europe that sounds amazing like isn't that a dream job for everyone who likes traveling so I'm really excited about this book the next one I don't have physically, so here is the cover, but it is Autobiography by Christina Lauren. I heard a lot of people talking about it. I don't really know anything about it, except that I think it's like in a writing class and two boys meet and it's like fusion. Excited to read that. The next one I don't have the cover with me also, but it is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertelli and I've heard so many people talking about it and I'm kind of like on the fence about reading this book. I don't really like when books are really really hyped about, I don't know, it kind of discourage me. <laughs> it discourages me to read it. it, it's weird, but it does like the opposite, like when people, when so many people talk about something, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> logic yeah um i think it's about unrequited love sounds fun then the next one here is the cover also it is two summers by ma friedman or amy amy friedman and this book is about a girl who like lives two different summers like one in like somewhere and the other one in New York. I don't know, it sounded really great, so I'm gonna read that. Um, I really wanna read that, so yeah. <laughs> the next one is The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. And this book, I think, is like kind of magical realism with contemporary and like seeing things you shouldn't see and like, are they real, are they not? Time travel, I don't know. We're gonna see about that. 
but I heard her other book, I was in June or something like that, was really good, so. And then lastly, the next books I want to read on vacation is a trilogy and it is the Burn for Burn trilogy by Jenny Han and Shaban Vivian. And if you didn't know already, I don't really like the writing of Jenny Han or her stories. But, I don't know, I remember reading Burn for Burn a couple of years ago and really enjoying it. I think I read it like in one day. And I really liked it. So it's about a group of girls that are from different, like really different groups of people. And they get together to seek revenge on like a boy that is not that good of a boy. And so I really want to read this. I have it all on my Kindle. I've had it for a long time now. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this bo these books on vacation. Some of them have been on my shelves for a while and I want to get through my contemporary because for me, when I'm on vacation, when I'm on the beach, it's really a good time to read, relax, and when I think of vacation, I think of, again, like being by the beach and reading like something that is not hard to read, like an easy read so that I can like let my mind wander and have a beautiful love story that doesn't make me like cry, doesn't make me too attached to the characters, you know, like, I don't know, I feel like when it's like series, like, I don't know, let's say Harry Potter or the Mortal Instruments, I'm really deeply attached to the characters, so I mean, I cannot really let go and like enjoy my day and tan, you know, it's not the same thing, I really want some things that are not that intense that I, I can let my mind wander and be happy <laughs> and you know like chill so uh, yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye so the next books are like a trilogy the next books is the next one I want to read the next one